Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do Instagram hashtag research using a powerful tool called Flick. Flick is really awesome because it integrates with your Instagram account and will automatically search for the best hashtags for the content you're uploading. So that's enough of me. Let's jump onto my computer here and walk through the interface and how you can use this tool to get the best hashtags possible. So here we are inside of the Flick homepage or their website where we can start pretty much discussing, you know, what Flick does and then we can actually dive into it. And I'm going to show you how to use it to find the best hashtags you can then use on the content you're uploading, whether that's, you know, posts on your wall, so photos or videos, or if you even want to use hashtags in your stories to gain extra reach as well. And I will link a video up above for you to go and see my tutorial on how to best use hashtags. But what we'll be doing here is specifically researching them and finding, you know, the best quality hashtags for your profile. So basically Flick, it is just a online browser tool. This is what it looks like sort of inside the interface, which we'll be jumping into in a second. But it allows you just to search for a hashtag and then basically keep expanding and expanding and finding hashtags which are going to be in the bracket of allowing your account to rank in the top posts. Because ultimately with hashtags, you do want to be ranking in the top post spots. That's where you're going to gain a lot of exposure. People are going to discover your profile and then hopefully, you know, follow you and then remain a long time follower and a fan of your account. So they're liking and commenting on your posts. So what's also great as well, Flick is Instagram approved. They are in line with the API in terms and conditions of Instagram, which is really good because that means your account is just going to be safe. And of course, you know, lots of updates. You can find all your hashtags and so forth. And naturally down below, I will have a link for you to follow along and grab the free trial, which is really awesome. So you can actually go ahead and use Flick for free. So what we'll be doing next is jumping into the actual dashboard and going through how you can find these hashtags. So once you go ahead and go down below, click that link and sign up for the free trial, you're going to be taken into the dashboard. So I'm already logged in here. And what we're going to do first is actually link your Instagram account to the Flick, you know, basically tool, because this is going to allow us then later on to use suggested filters when we're actually searching for those hashtags, which are going to return the best hashtags for your specific account. So as you can see, I've got a few here. Naturally, these will be blurred out just due to privacy reasons. However, you can see right here, I have actually linked an account. And what you need to do to get here is come into your profile and billing on the left hand side, click on that, come into your Instagram accounts, and then simply just follow these steps to linking your account. It is very simple. It's going to just basically ask you to connect to your Facebook, and then it's gonna pull that information into you. And for this to work, you will need obviously a actual Facebook page and so forth, or actually have your Facebook profile linked to the Instagram account you want to bring in here. That's really simple stuff you can obviously do in your own time. But once it's linked in, that's awesome. We are all ready to go. So let's get into it. What we're going to do is come up into the find hashtags in the top left here. And then this is going to bring up the interface where we can pretty much just start off and start looking for these best hashtags. So what we're going to do for specifically for this profile is just pick out a random keyword, which is obviously going to be related to the content you're uploading. So you just want to start with a broad hashtag. So for example, let's say you run an account that is all about your dog and you're uploading, you know, dog related pictures. You could start with the uh, keyword dog. And you know, that is what you would type in here, dog. And this is also going to then bring up other suggested uh, keywords for you. And the same goes, you know, if you're maybe running a smoothie business, you could type in smoothie and that's where you can start off. Either way, pick a keyword obviously related to your specific Instagram account, the content you're most frequently uploading, and this is going to be your starting point. Then what we want to do before we press search is click on filters, bring up this, and obviously there's some numbers we can put in here to figure out. But this is where it's really awesome in just linking your actual Instagram account because we can just use suggested filters if we just tick this box down here. And it's going to put in the suggested media count ranges, as well as also the average like ranges that Flick has designed, you know, through machine learning to basically figure out what the best hashtags are going to be for your account to help you rank once again in those top posts. So you're going to be seen more frequently, get more likes, more comments, and, you know, hopefully followers. So let's just start with smoothie. Pretty simple. We'll just click search. 
give it a second. And as you can see, it's brought up some hashtags for us. And what we can do is we can actually switch between different views here. So currently we're in the table view. And what we could do instead is switch to the old school view, which is this whole area here. And what we have in the middle, so I just clicked up here, by the way, what we have in the middle is smoothie. This is where we started. And what it's doing now is offering us different, you know, hashtags which are related to smoothie. So let's just say, you know, shakes is a good hashtag here. So we can just drag this out. It's relevant. And it's also within our filter range, which is really awesome. You can see how many posts are made, the average amount of likes and the average amount of comments. Because ultimately what we're aiming here for, especially with hashtags, is we want our posts to also be reaching these type of likes. So obviously for the profile I've got linked here, these would be the average amount of likes or above that which I would need to obviously rank in these spots. So you need it around 1.7k and around 30 comments to get in the top post. But either way, let's say we like shakes. What we can do is actually right click on this and then if we just grab this, we can click on many different things actually here. So we could obviously unlock Shake's position. We could open it in Instagram, the hashtag to go and see what type of content is being uploaded there. And um, but basically what we want to actually do is just expand Shake. So we're going to click expand on Shakes. You can see it's automatically entered Shakes as our hashtag. We've still got our use suggested filters for our account. We can click search, give it a second and boom, you know, we're just basically getting deeper and deeper into this whole area. And then we can actually just start basically selecting hashtags. So if we click on smoothie, you can see it's highlighted shakes. Let's say we want to use hashtag milkshakes, hashtag healthy cooking. You can obviously see these hashtags are showing up in the top right. Um, nutrition plan, maybe we want to use uh, healthy foods. You know, we're basically just looking to pick out things that are relevant to us. And what's great is Flick has obviously picked out these hashtags once again using those filters which ensures our account does have a chance to rank in those top posts. So let's go through these. Um, maybe some of these are relevant, maybe strawberry smoothie, smoothie bowls. And as you can see, export hashtag, this number up here is getting bigger to eight. And on Instagram, you can use up to 30 hashtags. Please feel free to use as many as you want. Once again, I did link to that hashtag tutorial earlier on where I discuss more of that actual stuff. Um, but you know, we can just click on a few more of these. And let's say, you know, healthy cooking is interesting to us. We're like, oh, that also makes sense. Let's once again, right click. Let's click on expand healthy cooking. You can see it brings up with our suggested filters again. Let's click search and then boom, we have a whole another bubble and we can always zoom out. You may not see it, but in the bottom right, there is the little minus or you can actually just use your mouse wheel to scroll out. And then we have some more things here. So maybe we want to use eat meal plan, easy cooking, healthy dinner. You know, and this is just a very easy way of us basically to keep going down and down. You can keep repeating this process until you have, you know, 30 hashtags you want to go ahead and use. Once you're in that spot, you can simply click export hashtags. It's going to bring up this list and then you can click copy hashtags. You can see it's being copied and it's all ready for your actual post. I even got a little notification down here because they're always adding a few new things to Flick, which is great. Um, but that is as simple as it is. There's nothing really much more to it. You simply copy the hashtags. You could obviously use this on your phone. You could send these in your email, Facebook message, whatever you want. Store them so they're safe. And then next time you go ahead and upload your Instagram post, you can just paste those in. And you know, once again, because Flick has added those filters for you, you do have a chance of reaching the top post, which once again means you're going to get more reach. And hopefully that means more likes, more comments and more followers for everything you're uploading. So yeah, hopefully this was really helpful. Once again, there'll be a link down below for you to go and try Flick for free, which is really cool. Otherwise, um, that is basically it. You can also, you know, in your spare time, check out their viral post finder, where pretty much you can come in here. You can add a new hashtag. So let's just say, you know, let's try smoothie again. If we do smoothie, it's going to start crunching the numbers and then it's going to find all the posts that are pretty much viral at the moment. So you can see how many likes and comments they're getting. And then you can actually download these to the go ahead and repost. They also have resources. You obviously can refer your friends and so forth. And then actually your profile and billing. So yeah, Flick is really awesome. They're releasing lots of new features simply, uh, excuse me, since I've been using them, which is really great. Um, but ultimately, I just love this hashtag finder. It works so, so well. And of course, you can always switch back into just the table view and then tick the actual hashtags you want. 
and you can see in the different areas which ones are here with the post average comments and stuff to make it a little bit easier for you to see the details that you need. So yeah, that's it for Flick. Before you go, I have a free Instagram crash course that you may be interested in. This is gonna walk you through on how to optimize your Instagram profile, as well as also using other tools to help you gain more followers and increase your engagement. You'll be able to see a picture on the video screen right now, and there'll be a link down below in the description for you to join this free course. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe for any future uploads and otherwise have a great day. Thank you.